they're laying in wait until the card is activated and then they immediately go in and drain the funds. It's called gift card draining, and this crime has become so common that one in four people report it's happened to them. Good evening, and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. Gift card draining cost consumers $228 million last year, and police say the problem is only getting worse. So how can you protect yourself? CBS 8's Steve Price is working for you tonight and has the answers you need straight from the experts. Steve? Gift cards make gift giving easy. So easy that last year gift card sales topped $200 billion. Unfortunately, scammers know that and they have figured out ways to take money off gift cards and you have no idea until you go to use it and the balance is zero. Caught on camera, a man walks into a Target store and heads to a gift card kiosk. But instead of buying them, he takes several out of his pocket and puts them on the racks. Gift card draining is an old scam. Eva Velasquez is president and CEO of the locally based Identity Theft Resource Center. She says thieves record gift card numbers and pins. Then when you buy the card, activating the funds, they have all the information they need to steal your balance and it can be drained within minutes, hours, or days from that, that purchase. It, it happens very, very quickly. According to AARP, nearly one in four people in the U.S. say they have given or received a gift card that had no funds on them. What they do is they heat up these envelopes to where they can open them as carefully as they can. It's so prevalent that police departments have made videos to help you spot targeted cards. Working for you, we checked with experts who warn tampered packaging or a pin number exposed or missing are red flags. Their advice, avoid buying cards that are out in the open. Purchase these from stores that actually have the cards behind glass that are physically protected and someone can actually see them. Google searches can lead you to websites that check gift card balances, but consider yourself warned. Those sites can use that same information to access the funds, so only check balances through the phone number or website printed on your gift card, because once that money is gone, chances are good you're not getting it back. It's very, very hard to recover the money, and I don't want people to have this false sense of, oh, I can just get it back. It really is like cash. Working for you, Steve Price, CBS 8. Great advice. Thanks, Steve. And don't forget here at CBS 8, we are always working for you. If there's something you'd like us to look into, shoot us an email at workingforyou at cbs8.com.